Welcome back to my channel. I'm filming this for the second time. <laughs> okay, so this will be probably my first video of me with my brown hair. How crazy is that? Um, I said that before <laughs> in this try and haul that I already filmed and it got lost. So, uh, so let me explain. Basically, on the weekend, I went out. And I like to do this little thing where I try to save money, right? Try to save money on drinks because we all know that drinks in clubs and wherever you decide to go out on like Saturday night, what I'm saying is expensive. The drinks are expensive. But yeah, I like to do this little thing where I stash a little flask in my purse to save money. All right. I know it's naughty. But I do it anyway. Now, on the weekend, I went to a big festival. It's called the Adelaide Fringe. It was a closing weekend. And I took out my little flask. It was actually quite a large flask this weekend. A bit silly of me. Um, but I didn't get to drink it all anyway. So what does it matter? <laughs> By the way, I will get to the clothing try and haul in a second. I'm just having a little story time before the, the whole point of the video. <laughs> Yes, I'm out with my friends. I um, we go up to the bar, and because there's so many freaking people, there would have been like I felt like there was twenty thousand people. Might be over exaggerating. <laughs> um, yep, I bought three drinks straight up because it was mayhem. There was a thousand people at the bar. I'm sure of that one. There was at least like a thousand people at the bar. So I bought three drinks. Then from there, walking back to my huddle of friends who all had three drinks as well, or even four, because it was just mayhem i start balancing my little drinks on a bin <laughs> and get out my little flask and i start tipping you know little bits of extra vodka in them so i you know don't have to go back to that freaking bar and i get hyped on just these three drinks is what that's what my aim was you know didn't have to spend any more money and I didn't have to go back to the bar and then I put the little vodka flask back in my purse with my credit cards phone blah 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 from there I'm standing there with these three drinks with sipping them chatting blah 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 having a laugh and I'm looking at my friend next to me and I'm like what the hell you keep spilling your drink on my skirt like I'm satched I am such, I was like absolutely looked like I went for a swim and he's just like, I'm not spilling my drink. What are you talking about? I had realized that the tinky tiny little flask in my purse was leaking pure vodka all down. So I had like my purse underneath my armpit while I'm holding these three drinks like this. It's just leaking. And this is a bit, quite a large flask. It wasn't a flask. It was an empty juice box. <laughs> that purse was my phone. That phone is broken. It went for a swim. This is a new phone. Um, so that's why I'm refilming this. That's why I lost all of my Instagram photos, like my new content. Um, what else did I lose? Yes, this video has already been filmed and it was on that phone. So now we're doing it again on this sick new phone. You're welcome for a free story time, you know? But let's jump right into it. I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to show you some cute date night clothes. All right, so this clothing try and haul is a little bit smaller than I usually do, but I thought these pieces were too cute to not be on YouTube. So here we are. This clothing try and haul is in collaboration with a brand called Dress Lily. Um, I have three items today and they're definitely all really date night inspired or like Valentine's Day but of course Valentine's Day was a really long time ago so I can't use that title. Um, <laughs> let's go with date night. Date night suits. Okay first up I have this bright red dress. This absolutely screams at date night to me and it screams date night with a few extra drinks and then go dancing. Does it not? Like Tell me this is not the 
emoji, you know, the salsa girl emoji. It is. It literally is. Like, this looks so... Arriba! <laughs> I don't know what I just said. What it, what what culture is that from? I love the little details of it tying it down the middle. It just cinches it all around your waist and all the little frills. It's just super cute. I just love red. I've always, always loved red as a blonde and now as a brunette, I like it even more. So that is the first item. Um, and also just to mention, these items are definitely not really, really high quality items. They're definitely a bit low quality. <laughs> Let's go with that. But definitely quite good for the price. Like it's cheap. So you're going to get the cheaper quality stuff. The sizing that I got in everything is a small and everything is just slightly too big, to be honest with you. This is, well, I'm not quite sure. Like this is slightly too big, but I feel like if I adjust the straps more and tie that more, it might cinch and actually feel quite snug. But yes, I think this is super cute. Um, amazing for the price. Definitely love it and we'll be wearing this to an event hopefully very soon now like i said all of these items definitely really suit like valentine's day or like date night so everything is actually red which i really love it's really romantic and like moody you know um so the second item is this more maroon red dress now this is absolutely stunning i am obsessed with these types of straps lately the classic spaghetti straps it's got a little V there and then the detailing cinching there at your waist. And then the only issue with this dress is that it has a massive slit. Now the slit is huge. So before I actually do wear this out in public, I will have to sew it because it's just not appropriate. Like it, you will see my underwear and I prefer that to only happen at festivals. <laughs> but nonetheless, this is incredibly good quality, this one. It is a size small as well, and it's just a gorgeous color, and I just love the shine of it. It's just quite a classy dress if, you know, that gets a little stitch or two down there. <laughs> and finally, the third item. Now, I was not able to show this on camera, me wearing it, because this piece is actually lingerie. It is absolutely lingerie. Um, and I couldn't show it simply because when wearing this, you see your hoochies and your ha ha. So, but there's no way I was going to be able to get in this and model it for you as you can see. <laughs> this is absolutely stunning. I am so obsessed with this and see, as you can see at the bottom, yeah, see that the whole thing is completely see-through. It's a one piece. And then at the back, it has all these little straps. Super, super cute. Amazing quality. And these little bits here go like around your neck. But I'm absolutely obsessed with the color. I think it's so gorgeous. The aim with this was to be able to wear it as a, like a, a top um, with like a skirt over, of course. And I was trying to get like a lace bralette to go underneath, but it is not possible. Like, because wherever the lace bralette goes at the back, it just doesn't go with how the back is set out. Like it looks bad. Um, I really love to find maybe something that could go under just this part, like maybe just some fabric, but I, I don't know. Or I might just literally just wear it as lingerie, but I don't really wear lingerie, so. I don't know. Maybe this item is literally just going to be a cute Instagram pic, you know, where of course I have to blur out the nip nips. <laughs> we will see, we will see. But I think this is just absolutely stunning. Like, literally, they do quite good, like, pretty little lingerie pieces, but seriously, seriously pretty. I definitely thought it fit the date night attire if you choose to wear it as lingerie or if you choose to wear it as a little top as well, of course covering those bits then yeah I just think it's so pretty I wanted to wear it on the weekend but I just couldn't find a little lacy bralette that kind of looked nice underneath it it all looked a bit tacky so still working on this one when I'm going to wear it it may just be an insta post it may be a date night attire we are not 
yet sure all right guys like i said yes this is just a short little try and haul um i just really wanted to show you guys those pieces because i think they are so so pretty um not sponsored whatsoever if anyone is going to ask that oh my god oh my god thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers what the hell that happened like two days ago yeah thank you so so much for that i'm also about to reach like 10,000 subscribers on TikTok as well. Subscribers or fans? I don't know what they call it. Yeah. Yeah, I got TikTok like two weeks ago or a week and a half ago. I wanted to do it for fun or I wanted to do it to be silly, make a couple of funny ones. Um, but now I actually enjoy it. Like I find it just so funny and entertaining. It's just an app for just random crap. So there's that as well. Almost about to hit 10,000 on TikTok. <laughs> Did not think I'd ever be on TikTok, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. Over 10,000 subscribers. The last I checked, I think it was 10,175. So thank you to 10,175 of you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Also make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss any of my upcoming videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.